all this lame shit. No one got a brain. Yeah. 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 Best of luck trying to handle the pressure wrestling game of this individual who has really taken the division by storm. And as was the case for you oftentimes in your career, even when the opposition knows what's coming, you can't stop it. Yeah, because this kid has so many different ways to attack you in the wrestling room. Unfortunately, John, he has not developed a striking to that level. So if you can keep him up right now, we've seen everybody deal with it, but you can't get that takedown. What's left for this guy? Yeah. Does this guy still believe? How does he operate in those moments where he doesn't really know what to do? We're going to find out tonight because this is his toughest fight to date. And he said he slept in his single last oh, night for good energy. I love so, that. I love that. I love that. <laughs> two of the recent victims for Brendan Allen. This is the biggest submission threat right now in the UFC's middleweight division. Top contender, Brendan Allen. He has won six consecutive fights. He has been rewarded with UFC main events. He has won those fights. And a lot of people believe the top guys don't necessarily want to fight Brendan Allen because of the danger factor on the ground. Trains out of Kill Cliff FC, forging himself, building himself up, training alongside high-level strikers every day. Seems right now, as we look at Brendan Allen, 28 years of age, it's an eventuality that one day he will fight for the world title. anticipated middleweight encounter. All right, now for the introductions, here is Bruce Buffy. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Brandon Allen! All right, Herb Dean, our referee Great. for this one, just about Great. to get underway. Great. All right, Chris Weidman back on the canvas. We'll see how he approaches the early portions of this round. No need for a career retrospective, but it's pretty remarkable given the leg injury he suffered at UFC 261. It is admirable that he is still performing and doing so at a high level. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Weidman's cut above the eye now from that strike, so we'll see how the fighter deals with that definite adversity now. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, very efficient and effective with the grounded pound. Ooh, going for a leg lock. Oh, that looks tight to me. It's locked in. Oh, that's got to be it. Come on. That is so deep. Now trying to escape, and he does. He freed his knee. Got his leg all the way to the opposite side. Now, opponent has your back, but you're in a much better position. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground side. 
step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Just over three minutes to go now. That would slip in. Nice play. That shot blocked by what? Great entry and timing on that takedown. He beat his opponent from the start. Look for him now to secure the position and then advance to what's next. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Allen. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get to make your opponent decide. If they try to turn back into you, you can attack guillotine. If they turn away to try to get to your knees, you throw your hooks in and you got all your rear choke submissions. Beautiful ground and pound. And now he's got his opponent cut. Allen's got him in a crucifix now. Going to go to work from the top. A minute and a half to go in our opening round. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Massive knee to the body lands. Weidman's got his head looking for a guillotine. Oh! Oh, that guillotine is officially tight. Oh, he is out. How good is that? That is phenomenal submission defense by this young man. Oh, these ground strikes are just brutal. We'll see what he does here. He postures up and lands to the head. Now he's going full mount. Oh, so an interesting decision there as he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. A little judo throw there to take him down. High praise, I would think, from the Olympian DC. Nicely done. I mean, it was beautiful. The way that he stepped across, got his hips, and started driving into his opponent. What a phenomenal technique. Great position. Great knowledge of knowing how to manipulate someone's body. All right, that's the end of round one. Weidman's got a cut to deal with above the eye, or perhaps better put, the cut man has got to deal with it. We'll see if he can stop the bleeding. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more Ready fresh fight. going into the Ready. next round. Ready. Round two here. Big kick lands. Oh, and a nice counter there with the hook after he blocked the previous shot. Oh, a huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, beautiful fight instinct there as he reverses position, and now he's got the dominant position. He did a fantastic job recognizing, man. I have got to get on the offense from bottom to top to dominant position. What a great job. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up, get to your knees, close your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, my hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more free-flowing than a half guard. Oh, now we're to the two hands up in side control. A lot of options for him here. Yeah, he can either go ground and pump, or he can chase submissions. Right into side control. Oh, this is not good. Mounted crucifix, all that body weight from the top position. This could be the beginning of the end. Yes, this could be the beginning of the end. This is a very, very bad position for the bottom guy. Top guy has moved into a position where he can finish the fight. He just needs to make sure that the trap he has set. Oh! By hip toss, and he is able to take him down. Beautiful execution there. Great job knowing exactly what he wanted. Moving the position left and stepping in with that right leg to load his opponent and flipping him through. Great move. We love the big move. They're right. very excited. Under two minutes to go here in our second round. Nice job working hard, posting and getting back up. Back up. And an immediate transition to the judo throw right into side control. He's in side control. He's got a ton of options. All right, side control now. 
Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. All of that body weight on his opponent. He's got all the weight on the upper body. His feet are free to do whatever. But the arm stuck between the legs. He is now going to start dropping hammer fists. He's going to start dropping elbows. This is one of the nastiest positions in all of fighting. Inside the he got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly. seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, as they attend to the damaged fighter, we will re-rack some replays for you. A lot of damaging strikes landed by the opposition in that previous round. Well, him just not really paying attention on the defensive side has made his opponent look like an absolute world beater. He's a good fighter, but he has never looked this good. And that is, that is partly because his opponent is not defending. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Oh, oh my goodness! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. We go right inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. He has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 21 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Brandon Allen! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.